So, Jimmy, I'm, I'm not even attacking Howard Stern, whom I respect for his talents, which are real. Um, but what is this that we're seeing? I don't know. Is there anything creepier than a guy who looks like a hippie but talks like a fed? Not for my <laughs> money. But please, can't... <laughs> that's good. So if you haven't listened to Howard Stern recently, please don't. It's depressing. A man of enormous talent and bravery has become craven using his radio show to push paranoid cowardice. But if you're interested in what's happened to Howard Stern, you have to take that. Howard Stern, by any measure, is one of the great radio hosts of all time. He makes a huge amount of money for doing what he does, but there's a reason for it. He was incredibly brave and creative. Vulgar, yes, but truly talented, but above all, courageous. Stern defended free speech. He was fired for it repeatedly. He used his platform to fight government censorship, to give the finger to the man. There was a lot that was impressive about Howard Stern, for sure, and that bravery allowed him to be creative, but not anymore. Maybe it was the coronavirus that broke him. Maybe it was just hormonal changes with the middle age. He's now a coward, and his broadcast is about cowardice amplifying his fears about corona over the air and attacking, more precisely, attacking anybody else who has decided to live life as a free person. When are we going to stop putting up with the idiots in this country and just say, you now, ha it's mandatory to get vaccinated. F them, f their freedom. I want my freedom to live. I want to get out of the house already. I, I, I want to go next door and play chess. I want to go take some pictures. This is bull****. So this is a guy who's had every vax available and he's still hiding in his basement because the vaccine works so well that he can't go out, right? So when other people disagree, when Aaron Rodgers, for example, the athlete decided to make his own medical decisions about the vaccine, Howard Stern was enraged. He said Rodgers should be kicked out of the NFL. Socializing is now off limits to Howard Stern. He scolded Oprah because she had the audacity to host, brace yourselves, a Christmas party. And I'm really amazed by Oprah. I really am. I mean, on her Instagram, she likes to take you into her house where every night of Christmas is a big party, like a celebration, and she flies in a different chef. And I'm, you know, it's getting very confusing to me. You know, I see what's going on with COVID. Everyone's got it. Everyone's sick. People have 104 fever. I don't want to have 104 fever. I don't want to get sick. So I, I'm hiding. But everyone else is out running around. I see Oprah's got, she's having dinner parties. So the guy was always a narcissist. Obviously, the show was about himself. But again, he had a spirit. He had bravery. But he's declined into this kind of quivering mass of neuroses and hatred. Hatred that has so overtaken him that he's decided that anyone who doesn't follow his command should just go die. Listen. If it was up to me... Anyone unvaccinated would not be admitted to a hospital. At this point, they've been given plenty of opportunity to get the vaccine. They don't trust our government. They think that there's some conspiracy to turn them into a magnet or something like this. Now, if you don't get it, in my America, uh, all hospitals would be closed to you. You're going to go home and die. So if you don't trust the government, you don't get health care and you should die. So the bigger question is how did this brave creative guy become a tool, a craven tool of the powerful wishing death on his own listeners? There's something sad about this, really sad. Jimmy Dore has watched it happen. He's the host of the Jimmy Dore Show and we're happy to have him come on tonight. So Jimmy, I'm, I'm not even attacking Howard Stern, whom I respect for his talents, which are real. Um, but what is this that we're seeing? I don't know. Is there anything creepier than a guy who looks like a hippie but talks like a fed? Not for my <laughs> money. But please, can't we? <laughs> That's good. Can't we all? Can't, I mean, Howard Stern, can't we? Doesn't anybody care about Howard Stern anymore? He's just a poor guy who wants to go outside and feel the breeze in his wig. That's all he wants to feel. So what is weird to me is now he went from being a bad boy uh, to becoming uh, Hillary Clinton's buddy. How do you do that? He's about as dangerous as a pair of plastic scissors. It's the opposite of what comedy is supposed to be. You're supposed to use comedy to undermine the status quo and poke holes in it and make fun of it. He's now using his platform to... Uh, prop up the status quo. Of course, that's what Howard Stern does now, because he is the status quo. There's no point to him anymore. He turned in. And so instead, you know, if you you live long enough you, uh, as a hero, you're going to, I guess, turn into Don Imus, because that is what happened to uh, to Howard Stern. And it is sad to watch. I, I, I don't even know what to say. 
Go Jimmy Dore. He looks like a hippie. He talks like a Fed. That was so great. It's great to see you. Thank you for that. It's perfect.